Hi friends, welcome back once again our channel 6WTV. Today in this video we will let you know the 7 behaviors that kill your motivation. Your life is defined by your habits. And there are certain habits that without your knowledge are sabotaging your life, your time, and your motivation. You must identify these habits and give them up if you wish to have a happy and successful life. So, let's begin try to understand these habits. Number 1, Making Justifications There are several reasons why you shouldn't take any action. If you are afraid of change, you will constantly come up with justifications for maintaining your existing way of life. Let's say you have a routine job that does not motivate or excite you to seek a career that is more meaningful but you are unable to let go of the stability and comfort you now have. Every time you think of leaving your boring job, you make a list of justifications that keeps you from doing so. A bad habit that saps your motivation is making excuses. Prevents you from achieving your objectives, regardless of how large or little they are. Because you will constantly come up with justifications to avoid taking the risks you must tonight, you will never advance or evolve. So stop making excuses. Although there are a billion reasons why you should not do something, all it takes is one. If you desire to improve your life, nothing should stand in your way. You have the choice. Making excuses increases the difficulty of really changing. So stop making excuses and look for what matters most to you. Number 2 adoring famous people. You have admiration for those who have attained success. You're in awe of what they've managed to do. You have to take the following actions if you wish to succeed. Finding individuals whose stories both challenge and inspire you is crucial. On the internet, you may research famous people, creatives, and undisputed authorities. You may respect the insight. They have mastered the skills they have learned, but success is a condition of mind, remember that. Humans will always be human. Long ago, they were in your shoes. They were insecure about their future and wondered if they had the talents required to succeed since they looked up to all the individuals they respected. Their anxieties and fears, as well as this battle. They persevere in the face of difficulty and establish their own path. They develop their own concept of success as well. When you admire someone, you view them as a larger-than-life persona. There is nothing improper in praising their accomplishments. Remember that you are not alone in being able to achieve your long-term goals. Number 3. Waste of Time any other time waster may seem to be doing something beneficial on the surface, but you are not truly making progress. In actuality, you are overcommitting yourself to fake obligations. Your shoulders will feel greater tension as your plans get more complete, and you may unknowingly create duties and issues that you don't need to deal with. You may overcomplicate your problems if you are unsure of your ability to handle them. Noah when it comes to planning, there is no substitute for tenacity and bravery. Even with the most meticulous planning, achieving your objective requires taking actual action. Not all plans, however, are a waste of time. Making calendars and to-do lists is a great way to keep organized and more productive in the beginning. Spreadsheets are also great tools. These tools can help you decide what to do and when to do it, but once you have a firm understanding of the problems at hand, there is no time to spend. Put your timelines and spreadsheets away and begin making actual progress toward your goals. Number 4. Prejudice Assumptions Many people excuse their poor performance by making stupid assumptions about other people. You naturally assume that those who have done more than you did cheated to reach where they are now. Your judgments are mainly defense mechanisms that let you excuse your own shortcomings. You could attribute their achievement to their upbringing or good fortune. You have a propensity to believe that success is purely the result of luck. 
The more importance you give to chance, the better. The less important it would seem that you should put a lot of effort and money into your accomplishment. Over time, this negative outlook drains your drive to work hard and succeed. Fortunately, nothing is falser than it is. It takes both time and emotion. Investments, regardless of where they come from, are essential parts of any success narrative. The overwhelming majority of the time, individuals succeed because they committed to their objectives and went above and beyond to achieve them. If you want to increase your motivation, alter the way you view successful individuals. Accepting that they've done more than you have is acceptable. Although it may not seem like it from the outside, every successful person has worked hard and with passion. I was able to decompress via failure and rejection. They've finished the jobs. While you might be averse to taking chances, they led to success and enjoyment. It's best if you give other people more credit. The better off you will be the more you give yourself the freedom to develop and evolve. If others can put up the effort and succeed. Number 5. Highlighting Weaknesses. Pinpointing weaknesses stands out among the behaviors that are undermining your motivation. Nothing diminishes your motivation like self-criticism when things don't go your way. By criticizing your shortcomings, assigning blame for all of your errors, and using foul language, you may drown out your failings. You can never make a mistake. Again. You could think that doing this will motivate you to do better the next time. But severe criticism of yourself might sap your motivation. Why? Because you are losing confidence in your own abilities. Every time you criticize your faults, you are creating pressure tension, self-doubt, and self-doubt, all of which undermine your confidence. It is tough to have trust in oneself when you are always busy and concentrated. You should focus on your areas of weakness if you want to boost your drive, self-assurance, and believe in yourself. You must change and grow in more positive ways. Instead of pointing out your errors, for instance. Doing so will encourage your success. Even if you fail, keep track of any instances where you changed or enhanced this simple but crucial behavior. It will serve as a motivational reminder that you are deserving of your own belief in you as well as serve as proof of your advancement. Setting high standards for oneself is okay. It's admirable that you have high standards, but you also need to support, raise, and inspire yourself. Even if you mess up. When no one else eventually will, you need to have faith in yourself. Everything that is assisting you in achieving significant life objectives is you. Number 6. Maintaining Silence. Motivating factors include motion, excitement, and change. These are typically the times that are the most invigorating. Do you find yourself pulled to items that make you rethink your opinions? Your brain is naturally drawn to new and interesting experiences. You get more energized and driven after these sessions. On the other hand, a lot of individuals deny themselves novel or stimulating stimuli. If, for instance, a large number of workers are seated, your brain could be curious about the task at hand. But when your attention wanes, your brain yearns for anything novel, intriguing, exciting, or uncommon. It doesn't have to be a significant change. The best way to re-energize your brain is to regularly switch up your environment rather than traveling the globe whenever you are bored. Being still for extended periods of time without changing your concentration might sap your motivation. Simple routines may uplift your mood and reignite your enthusiasm, such as taking a stroll outside or speaking with a coworker. During these little breaks, you give your brain the much-needed rest it needs from those tedious, repetitive tasks. A change of scenery or an engaging discussion demands the usage of a variety of skills, sets, and parts of your brain that you haven't utilized in an hour. Go for a stroll take a quick 5-minute break, or strike up a lively chat. 
Whatever your level of boredom or drowsiness, each of these behaviors will make you feel motivated and energized. Number 7. Avoiding Responsibility When something goes wrong, a lot of individuals lose drive because they refuse to take ownership of their errors. Instead, they are fixated on what went wrong. They assign blame on their software, their employees, or other external factors. This negative conduct results in an imbalance between your goals and your actual progress. You cannot improve if you are unable to recognize the errors in your work. To increase motivation and succeed, it is essential to accept responsibility for your inadequacies. Owning up to a mistake allows you to identify areas for improvement. Making advantage of the knowledge. You have the capacity to identify a precise route to achievement. As a consequence, take ownership of your mistakes. Do not put the blame for your lack of success on your equipment, your co-workers, or any other circumstances. Many of the most successful people in the world have made enormous strides with a lot less than you now have at your disposal. The moment has come to maximize your resources. No matter who you are, you are in charge of your own happiness and success, therefore learn from your failures. Hope you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thanks.